shapes like circle, square, triangle are introduced from grade 1. Even the national curriculum framework released by the NCR to expect the students of grade 2 to observe and identify shapes. And by grade 3, they should be able to describe those shapes. Because the round portion which is up, if you put it down, it can become a triangle. Okay, so you're saying the round portion that is up, if you put it down? It's really down and you can't see it, it looks like a triangle. Okay, that's interesting. See, it looks like a triangle because it has all three equal sides and it's all like equal. Okay. Uh, I think that uh, none of these is a triangle but uh, answer C looks like a triangle, it's not giant, if we join it, it will be a triangle. The lot of students that they just entered grade 4 and so as per the expectation they should be able to identify the shapes and even describe those shapes. But as you'll see, there is a clear gap between the expectations and the reality. That the the right side of the triangle is bit curved, and the this side of the triangle is just straight. Okay. So I don't agree, sir. How should a triangle be? Both should be like this, and the okay. So both should be. Like okay. It has the oblique lines are uh, long, and the straight line is short. So. It's not a triangle. For, okay, for so straight line should be long. All the three sides should be equal. All the three sides should be equal. Okay. I think this is a slanting. Because it's a little slanting. Because it's a little slanting. So I find it a little slanting. So what would you do to make D a triangle? Son, it's not that very uh, fat. It's very little thin. It's not that broad, it's a little thin and it doesn't look like a triangle. Most of the students try to recognize a shape based on the prototype, the visual characteristics of a figure they have developed in their mind. These prototypes develop due to prior exposures they've had. So, for example, they might have seen a triangle in their textbooks or their teacher showing a triangle in the classroom. But as you'll observe, the prototype that they've formed in their mind so they seem to dominate so much that they not they are not able to recognize or visualize the shape beyond that. It's a shape, sir, which is like uh, we write a ulta V and then make a line. <laughs> Triangle is a figure that is drawn by a set of non-collinear points that is minimum. really thought about we keep saying when we define a triangle we keep saying closed figure and we do say line segments that is uh, straight lines and we assume that they've got the correct concept but only after we saw them answering today I realized that they have got the concept of closed figure but not so much about the lines being straight yes. though we do insist in we give definition kind of thing and we assume that they've understood it still I was very surprised when they all felt that it could be made into a triangle but was not already a triangle that was a little surprise. It has three straight lines. Because it has three straight lines. Yes, and A doesn't have a straight line from down. And B is called a cone shape actually. Okay. C is not complete. But it doesn't matter if it is fat or thin. If it has three straight lines, it's called a triangle. We actually came to know where they are going wrong with the concepts. Mm -hmm. The distractors were trapping their inside knowledge. I think it's all a question of visual. What the children visually see, the way we draw, as you said, a triangle in a particular way, a right angle in a particular way, we always tend to draw it in that way. So if a right angle is on top, 
It doesn't look to them as a right angle. Similarly, as right like this, you draw a square like this. Now, uh, after your asset questions, honestly, we have also begun to very consciously in our teaching methodology itself, not only in our assessment. Mm -hmm. During our teaching methodology itself, we are consciously doing all this, introducing it in different angles and you know, different uh, views. responses over the last uh, few minutes was that students have certain mental models, ways of thinking about the world, certain ideas and clearly these ideas are uh, not uh, what we intended to pass on to them as teachers or interested adults. These are ideas children have uh, formed by actively trying to make sense of what they are seeing around them or what has been taught. Uh, what is uh, however important to understand here is that uh, the instinctual reaction of adults or teachers when they see uh, these kind of responses is to say that, let me explain this again, let me explain this more clearly, uh, two times, if not thrice. Uh, this is bound to fail. So what we find is that it's extremely important for a teacher to listen first, find out what is already on the child's mind, to then help the child to review the correctness of this idea, weigh it against other ways of thinking, other mental models to really be able to say that no, this didn't work and this is a better way of looking at things. And our hope is that teachers start doing this based on seeing films like this. You have seen just one concept but there are several such ideas across class levels, across topics and this is our hope that teachers will become active listeners and we will have a chance to teach our children better.